Hi, my name is Nikolaus and among other things I play the piano. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of Chopin's most famous works, The Revolutionary Did. Before Chopin, the etude was a musical form whose foremost intention was pedagogical. Its raison d'etre and purpose was to help pianists improve their technique, allowing them to focus on specific technical problems and resolve them. In other words, there were um, a lot like exercises, but with a musical pretext uh, to address the fact that practicing mechanical exercises for prolonged periods of time is really depressing. So with Chopin, the etude as a musical form is no more a means to achieve technical excellence, but an end in itself. It's no more something you practice, but something you perform for an audience. And that's no surprise, of course, because for Chopin, as with any other great composer, technique can never be the purpose and music can never be a means to an end. Chopin wrote two sets of etudes. Uh, the first one, Opus 10, was released in 1833. Chopin, who was born in 1810, uh, the same year as Robert Schumann, uh, wrote the first pieces of the Opus 10 set as a student in the uh, Warsaw uh, Conservatoire. In 1830, uh, during his second tour in Vienna, uh, his compatriots in Warsaw rose up against the Russian Empire. Uh, upon hearing the news, Chopin decided, as most of the Polish uh, diaspora, to return to Poland and join the revolution. However, his close friends and already frail health ended up changing his mind. Although Chopin never gave uh, this attitude uh, the name revolutionary himself, um, this nickname has stuck with it uh, since it was first published. It is thought to be, and for good reason, Chopin's reaction to the news of the November uprising or its suppression. The etude's turbulent, unrelenting lines uh, are a testament to that, uh, as well as a passionate, timeless call uh, to arms against oppression. In terms of form, uh, this etude is very, very simple. It follows uh, what is called a strophic structure, meaning that it's just um, one theme. There's two expositions of that theme, one at the beginning of the etude, and a uh, slightly uh, altered version of it uh, in the second half. You can listen to my interpretation of um, Chopin's revolutionary etude by clicking on this link. You're very welcome to download an audio uh, version of it uh, from Bandcamp. All proceeds go to Hamoyelo to Pediu, uh, which is a Greek charity for children. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.